YouTube and YouTubers out there. Uh, this is my wife's Honda Odyssey. Uh, it's got a 3.5 liter uh, VTEC VCM engine, uh, which is a variable cylinder management. It now has uh, oh, 242,000 uh, miles, I believe. And it's starting to burn a lot of oil. Uh, which is a common problem on these VCM engines. Uh, if you want to, you can buy an add-on, an extra aftermarket, aftermarket one called SVCM controller or VCM muzzler or whatever. And to install it, this is what this video is going to be about, is what it does is it disables the car from running in a three-cylinder mode. So it runs as a V6 always. Um, all cylinders running, firing. Um, you'll blow maybe one to two miles per gallon, but, um, you, uh, you'll, it will, uh, well, it's supposedly will not burn as much oil. Um, what, what the problem is, is it builds up these three cylinders in the back here. They build up, uh, oil starts to fill them up and it burns oil or leaks it, or, you know, it causes, valve cover gaskets to start leaking and consuming a lot more oil. And you can actually, in extreme cases, it can cause a hydrolock situation and actually, you know, cause a piston to crack, a um, uh, rod, excuse me. Um, that's an extreme case. Well, what I'm gonna do here is I bought this, uh, yeah, this uh, SVCM controller. This is the directions that come with it. Um, off, off of svcmcontroller.com and what it does this is it is it will you put it in front of the temperature sensor and it's that one right there I will show you how you get that out you, you push it the, the little push thing on the back of it and you can pull it out it's a little tricky and then you basically you put this you plug this into it, and then you plug the wire there into this, and then you hook this up with the positive terminal on your battery, and you zip tie some stuff down, and you only do this while your car is cold. Do not do this when it's warm, because eh. And what will happen is you will, it, you, the temperature reading on the car may not be as high as what it really is, because it's, it's, playing around with that and when this car's not warmed up or at least it doesn't think it's warmed up it will not enable the vcm or the uh, deactivation thus keeping them running on six cylinders at all times now you will also if you start uh, also i'm starting to feel some in cruising mode some um um i don't know what not shutter but you know some imbalances from the engine they can feel the car shake a little bit until you hit the gas again which then turns off the vcm for, you know deactivates it and then it, it goes forward and don't have a problem those are some electronic damper dampeners or whatever somewhere that are quite expensive to replace um so i'm really just doing that not for that but for just the oil consumption and try to extend the uh, the the life of this engine so let's get started. Let me uh, here, put this down. Where I'm pointing here with my finger, that is, there's a coolant temperature sensor. Uh, you, to get that out, you um, push on the back here and this on the back here, and you, you, you'll be able to pull it up. Do not try to yank this out. The next thing you do is you put this one you see how the, the plugs look alike you put this you put this one in, in its place oh I believe it would be like this You do it till you push it down till you hear a click. Now, 
you need to hook ah, the other part to the factory wiring here. Okay. Then we're gonna attach this to the positive terminal. And we also need to zip tie some stuff with some, some su supply zip ties. Per the document here, we need to zip tie all this together here in this document. Final, final look here. The, uh, the SVC, SVCM controller plugs into the coolant sensor. The coolant sensor wiring hooks up into the other end of the um, the uh, SVCM controller. The power wire from the SVCM controller comes up through here. Here, I zip tied it to this wire. <coughs> Boom. I bring it through this here and then through here and attached it to the positive terminal like that now I just got to go test this now I'm gonna start this for the first time um, it says you might get some VCA errors or whatever it's called uh, and it should go away in a couple days if you do that or if you have a scanner to clear them I also got my scanner in case so let me uh, get myself comfortable this isn't car I normally drive so so far no check engine light this car again was cold for the start of the day uh, you will see that I gotta change the oil and change, I already changed the air filter. Um, but that's all. If I get a check engine light, it'll appear above the wrench there. Let's uh, go the for a test drive. driving and the car is warmed up now. I have not seen the eco light come on. I'll continue to drive here now. My light just turned uh, green, so. Here I am now, driving right now. And uh, I got the windows open, but I don't, uh, the uh, eco mode has not come up, and the car feels much more responsive uh, from when I hit the uh, gas pedal. Uh, looks like it's doing what it's doing. Uh, so I will um, do a follow-up video and report back on uh, any problems I may have or my wife has and if this is uh, consuming less oil and if so how much i'm about to do an oil change as you see there uh it has i've had to add between one and two quarts of oil between oil changes i'll see hopefully that will uh reduce this car has 243,000 miles later